Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Terry will spring into action to defend herself the week of September 23 to 27, while Jack Brennan takes some time to get closer to Carly Spencer. Carly and Sonny Corinthos will get together later for a strategic meeting as they work to conceal the true circumstances surrounding John Jagger Cates. Alexis Davis is going to have her own meeting at Pentonville. In order for Martin Gray, Michael E. Knight, to determine how best to defend Alexis, he will pressure her to be completely honest with him. While Alexis confides in Martin, T.J. Ashford shares information with Stella Henry as well. Curtis Ashford and Stella will provide some helpful guidance, but TJ and Molly Lansing Davis still have more relationship issues to deal with. Molly will get the opportunity to get close to Dex Heller once again, so it will be intriguing to watch if they end up sleeping together in the future. Harris and Chase will battle Dante Falconery in the interim. Given his anxiety over Lulu Spencer's health and Sam McCall's mother's imprisonment, Dante might vent some of his resentment towards Chase. In the end, Molly and Martin will have a conversation about Alex's defensive plan. Molly might encourage him to blame her sister for this situation, since she holds Christina Corinthos Davis accountable. Since Sonny was the one who recruited Martin, he will need to exercise caution in how he handles this situation. Martin must prevail, but he cannot cause Sonny's daughter any further problems in the process. Soon enough, Sonny and Christina will have a meaningful talk, during which he may reassure her once more that things will work out. Sonny won't want Christina to worry since Martin is working very hard to get Alexis out of Pentonville. According to additional Gieg rumors, Jordan Ashford and Isaiah Gannon will become close again so she can let down her guard and maybe even persuade him to do the same. Regarding Drew Quartermain, he will unintentionally disrupt Willow and Michael Corinthos. Drew might ruin a lovely moment and make things uncomfortable. Sam is going to pay Carly a visit, which could cause conflict if Sam tries to find flaws in her tenuous alibi. Sam might also become enraged since Carly put Jason Morgan in yet another dangerous situation. Jen Sidwell is going to screw about in his camp in Africa with Jason and Anna Devine. Sidwell will use more bait to draw Jason and Anna into his trap, putting them in risk. Sidwell will make a risky proposal that could compel Jason and Lucky Spencer to play to the death and turn the cards against each other. Though there may be some near misses, Lucky and Jason will undoubtedly survive whatever Sidwell has planned. When Lucky learns the heartbreaking news that Lulu's liver is failing, he will be eager to hurry home and assist her as soon as possible. Although there may be obstacles in her way, Anna will stop at nothing to ensure that Lucky returns to Port Charles. Holly Sutton might end up coming out on top in all of this, but she's about to take a risky action. As the danger grows, Carly will see Brennan once more. Together, they will watch the drama unfold and pray that everyone escapes Sidwell's grasp unscathed. Ned Quartermain will find some startling information back at PC. We'll have to wait and see if this has anything to do with Valentin Cassidine's location or maybe Drew's secret with Willow. If at all feasible, Jason and Anna may ultimately fly Lucky home to save Lulu during the week of September 30 October 4. Lucky has a strong chance of matching a donor liver, but will his alcoholism get the better of him and disqualify him from consideration? Cyrus Renault has promised to do whatever it takes to help Lulu, and as the plot develops, he might honor that pledge. This autumn, Lulu will come out of her coma when Alexa Havens returns to the role of Lulu. But because she stated looking for the abandoned weapon, we'll see if that's the consequence of a diving mishap. DAA fans will also lose Sam McCall in the upcoming weeks. Stay in for startling forecasts and updates on which PC residents will suffer the most, as revealed by General Hospital spoilers, which indicate some surprising changes are imminent. Actually, following her surgery, Heather's cobalt levels were significantly lower. 
This supports her theory that her deadly criminal behavior was caused by cobalt poisoning and demonstrates that her defective hip was the cause of the issue. Naturally, the GH lab results, which were blatantly manipulated to prevent Heather from landing on the path to freedom, didn't show it that way. Did Portia Robinson change those talk, outcomes on it her It appears that Heather was also slightly tugging at Rick's heartstrings, which is why he wants to pursue this extremely profitable case. There will be inquiries concerning the earlier results and the reasons they were incorrect if the test is repeated and shows Heather's case should proceed. Curtis Ashford was reassured by Rick nevertheless that he was watching out for his family. In defense of his decision to take on Heather's case, Rick stated that he was acting in the best interests of Curtis, Portia, and Trina Robinson. T.J. Ashford and Molly Lansing Davis value Curtis, so Rick wants to watch out for him and his loved ones. Now that the lab results have been tampered with and Portia's potential acts are becoming apparent, what does it mean? Rick needs to be aware that something like this could cost Portia her job and medical license. Could Rick eventually find someone to blame for this, keeping Portia out of trouble? Brad Cooper recently made a strong effort to return to work at Giesch and land a job as a lab tech, Brad is the perfect fall person because of his past transgressions and his resentment towards Heather for what she did to Britt Westburn. Naturally, if the show decides to take a different turn, it's also feasible that Brad is guilty after all. Nevertheless, Portia is the one who has been continuously fixated on Heather's test results and possible release, making her a perhaps more credible candidate. When this whole thing blows out, who will Brad be held accountable for? Will Portia allow Brad to walk away in order to save her own career, at least for the time being? We'll bring you updates on any major news that's developing as well as more predictions about Rick's actions because General Hospital spoilers indicate that there are still some surprises to come. In the months following Spencer Cassidine's passing, Trina has taken solace in her daily routine at the gallery, but she must now resume her normal life. Trina appeared to be utilizing her work at the gallery as a secure haven, but Stella persuaded her that she needed to return to her studies. It's excellent news for Trina's academic and professional aspirations that Stella was able to persuade her to return to PCU for the autumn semester. However, depending on who Trina meets on school, this might also be good news for her romantic life. There have been some unofficial suggestions that Trina will meet someone new soon, is that a handsome guy Trina meets at school or something similar? Whatever the situation, now that Trina is stepping outside of her comfort zone, the door is undoubtedly open for her to engage with some new people. There was talk that Giovanni Gio Palmieri and Trina would be developing a romantic relationship when he initially joined ABC's GA. It's still possible that Trina and Gio would visit there in the future, but right now, he really appears more interested in Jocelyn Jacks. Given how much Dex Heller and Molly Lansing Davis have been spending time together lately, it's possible that Gio will stand by Jocelyn in the event that Dex cheats. Nevertheless, social media users aren't too fond of Trina and Gio as a potential couple. Since there isn't exactly a ton of chemistry between Gio and Trina, perhaps the program opted to find Trina a better match. Is there a suitable man waiting for Trina around the corner? Trina will always hold a special place in her heart for Spencer, but she is capable of finding love once more. We think Trina might still fall hard for someone new in the interim, even though the program might decide to recast Spencer at some point. Stay tuned for updates on Trina's upcoming romance as General Hospital spoilers suggest she might soon be receptive to another love tale. So, what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.